Hello, patrons. Today we're going to do a simple Ron Ranson type painting that you can follow along with very easily in less than 10 minutes. So I've got a piece of 9 by 12, 140 pound arches and I'm wetting about three quarters of the paper a nice sheen of water. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking some raw sienna. You can use some raw sienna or some yellow ochre. And I'm just going to make a nice, solid pattern down the page. A little darker at the top, a little lighter toward the bottom. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a little bit of... I'm not cleaning the brush quite yet, but... I'm making some, taking some blue, ultramarine blue, and some alizarin crimson. And I'm making a sort of purpley type color, sort of a dark purple type color. You'll notice I'm using the medium hake. And I'm just coming in and tapping and doing some random strokes, leaving plenty of the yellow behind, making the clouds smaller as I work my way down the page. A couple of quick strokes for what's going to end up being behind the mountains that we're going to put in. So work quickly within a couple of minutes. Your brush should have about half the amount of water that it can hold. Now I'm just coming in with some little bit darker, just added a little bit of Payne's Gray. A little darker on one side. Maybe a little darker on that side, just to even it out a little. Just tapping it in, making just a nice pattern. Now I'm going to wash my brush, and I'm going to get some ultramarine blue. Maybe I won't wash the brush, I'm just going to put some ultramarine blue into that just so it's stronger blue. And we're going to make a background mountain, just almost a single peak, maybe a smaller peak there. Just carefully lay it in. Now next we're going to use some burnt umber added to the brush without washing it. A little bit of blue on there still, just so it's a little darker. Keeping that peak in the center open, we're going to just sort of frame out those middle mountains by doing some side mountains a little darker still. Again, being careful that that peak is not disturbed. Just a little bit darker still. Don't want to play with it too much. Maybe just a little bit more on the peak there, just a little bit more of a peak. 
I'm actually kind of lifting the paint off, which I'm not really wanting to do. So I'm just going to put a little bit more paint on the brush. Just to get some variation. Again, just a little bit of blue in there, just to vary that up a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean the brush and we're going to put either yellow ochre, raw sienna, a combination of the two is fine. And we're going to have the brush be fairly dry of water so that we can run a dry stroke right across the paper without a lot of pressure so that you'll leave some white areas behind, leave a little bit of a, little bit of a, a little bit of a glimmer there little sparkles. So now that we have the basis for that, we'll go back into some burnt umber. And we'll start making some strokes on the bottom. It's very, very simple little areas of land, keeping some of those sparkles visible. Just a little tapping in. So in just making these little strokes on the bottom, just make, you know, two or three different random strokes. Doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing, obviously. fix my, I uh, want to be able to get to the bottom of the paper here in my thumb box. So just gentle strokes across the bottom, make every stroke count kind of a deal. Just touching the bottom just to create a little bit of a base. Just do what you feel you like to do. I'm just taking a little uh, burnt sienna creating some little foliage or something that's on the bottom there it just goes along with the color scheme you can use green if you want So now I think I'll take and do my own little thing here just to put my own little spin on it. Give it a little spritz with the water bottle. And we'll give it a little scratch with the card just to create some textures and some rocky items. Just because it's fun. creating some textures and some little rocks. And that's really about it. 10 minute, little 10 minute, uh, we call it a sketch. Take my little micron pen and put a couple of birds in there.
zoom in, there's the finished product. Okay, so here's the finished version. And then in its virtual frame, I think it turned out pretty well. However, after the camera stopped rolling, I added that bit of brown below the mountains because there was a couple little ways the paint ran off. I don't know if it helped it or hurt it, but I thought I'd share. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful day.